Welcome to the channel guys. We are back again for another First Impression Fridays and today I have a somewhat scary episode to do and I am going to be doing first impressions for zoologist Hyrax and Etat de Libra Orange Secretions Magnifique. So if you like the content guys, if you like fragrance reviews, first impressions top list, hit that like and subscribe button for more great content. So today I am actually going to be doing first impressions of two very infamous fragrances for being very challenging. Some of them even considered to be unwearable um, because they are very animalic. So Zoologist Hyrax, this does have actual Hyrax, basically like fossilized, the oil from fossilized Hyrax poo and pee because they go in the same spot all the time. So that is made into like some Hyrax African rock or whatever it's called. And they put that in perfume. And this is apparently a very challenging and animalic fragrance. And I decided because I'm doing an animalic and challenging fragrance, why not go with Sec Secretions Magnifique, uh, which is supposed to smell like blood and sex and all kinds of things like that. So both of them, very difficult. I've never been this scared. I am gonna try these on skin, guys. I hope you appreciate me taking this, this sacrifice uh, but you know what? Let's get into it. Hopefully it's not as bad as I think it's going to be. I'm going to start with Etat de Libre Orange. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Especially on skin. At first I was just going to do these on paper. Because at least... That is weird. It's a little bit fresh. There is something fresh about this fragrance, I gotta admit. I was expecting to be punched in the face with something that smelled really, really grotesque. It's weird smelling, for sure. Uh, but I don't know that it smells like bile or like any of those things. It's fresh, but there's something behind that that is really, really weird um, that I can't quite put my finger on. It is, there is a little bit of a milky quality. I think there is milk in this and the milk, of course, supposed to uh, capture this bodily influ uh, this bodily fluid kind of a vibe, which I'm gonna be honest with you, it does kind of have. I mean, it's weird, but it's not nearly as bad as I thought this was going to be. I thought this was going to be, I thought this was going to be one that I was, you know, going to gag a little bit, but it's not that bad. It's just weird. But there is an unusual freshness there. The freshness, the fresh aspect is actually not that bad. I don't, I think people have said it smells kind of like sweat. I don't really get that for sure. I do kind of get the bodily fluid thing with that weird kind of milky vibe that it has. Um, but again, it's not absolutely horrible. It's just unusual. But I'm going to let that sit a bit. Hopefully it does. Well, I don't know. I'm saying that hopefully it will get worse. I guess I've put myself into this position. Um, but hopefully it blossoms a little bit. We'll see what it has to do. And uh, But I am going to go to Hyrax. And this one I'm I'm still a little bit worried about too. Now looking up the, the notes for Secretions Magnifique, I actually was surprised it's supposed to smell as horrible as it does because it has like coconut, milk, seaweed, which is all very weird. Or well, the mixture of those is a little bit strange, but it doesn't sound like it would be, you know, really horrendous smelling. Um, and you know, it's not. It's not terrible. It's just unusual. There is something settling in there that's not pleasant. But there is that weird freshness that is almost like, hey. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to try the Hyrax. Now, I heard this one does dry down really nicely, so I won't really get to a full-on dry down right now. But I've heard it does dry down really nicely and it just opens up extremely harsh. Which, you know, a lot of these really strong animalic fragrances do... Um, dry down really nicely. They just have this really 
uh, challenging opening. So we'll see how this one uh, how this one does. It's not actually that bad. You know, I'm almost a little disappointed. I get huge amounts of like, I think there's Castorum and Savet. I definitely get that Animalic vibe. Really smells intensely Animalic. It smells like, I feel like I'm smelling an an a wild animal's fur or something like that. Animalic, not overly so. Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like maybe I've smelled too many fragrances at the point where this actually doesn't smell that bad to me. Hyrax, I actually kind of like this right now. Like there's, if you compare this to like I talk about leather oud, Dior leather oud all the time, the 2010. If you were to compare what I smell with Hyrax right now, I would actually say that the leather oud is more challenging. Um, leather oud is more difficult to wear. It does have more intensely animalic facets this is definitely very animalic but it's not i actually find it's something that's it does smell a little bit less luxurious actually i will say so leather oud i definitely consider it to be very animalic um intensely so at times but luxurious this does have a very animalic edge to it but it's definitely a little bit more rough i think than leather oud which is very polished It's interesting, I get something almost inky there in the background. Um, there is something there that's giving this sort of inky, kind of iodine kind of a vibe to go along with that um, fairly strong animalic. I was expecting it to smell like a urinal, I'm not going to lie. It's something like that. And it actually doesn't, so I don't get any kind of a bathroom vibe which I will say with Leather Oud, sometimes I do feel, or at least the 2010, sometimes I would get a bit of a poop vibe. Um, that although it's very beautiful, it does have that facet to it, which is obviously undesirable. But this, there is a little bit of a leathery touch, I feel like, as well. Almost rubbery, actually. Almost like a, a new fresh industrial leather that has that sort of iodine -y or whatever kind of a vibe to it, inky kind of a, maybe it's really fresh. It's okay, like, I don't know that off of this I would wear it, just, you know, based on this first impression, but it's definitely not as bad as people were saying. I really was expecting it to smell like a urinal. I am going to smell them both at once after I do the try downs. It'll be the closest thing to a layer of epic proportions that I have ever done. Um, I guess I just feel like uh, having a little fun today. But I'm going to go back to the Secretions Magnif Magnifique. See if it's unfolded a little bit. It's definitely getting worse. I will say that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually gonna stop with it there because I might I might throw up. That is actually very stomach churning. And I am going to be washing that off very shortly, uh, for sure. So definitely had this very, very bodily function kind of a vibe to it. Um, definitely did smell like that raunchy kind of a thing that they are essentially going for. Again, I'm gonna say what other people have said and I think that this perfume was made with the idea of just pushing the envelope to this artistic extent of creating something that's essentially unwearable and is much more something to appreciate, I suppose, or something to be analyzed as an artistic thing because I cannot see anyone, I'll go back for one more sniff, I cannot see anybody wearing this. Yeah, it does have this, like, heavy... Ugh. That, that freshness is definitely gone, toned down. And I guess it's that seaweed that's really kicking in. That gives it this really kind of rough, 
um, kind of gross smell. So I'm not going to go into too much more detail than that other than very unpleasant. Um, I don't know really why someone would create that. I have smelled things that I would think are very artistic like Andy Toyer Lewd. Uh, which I don't think also is particularly wearable. You know, you can smell, you can pick out the mushrooms that, that's in it, and it's very artistic in that way, but I could never think of wearing it. This, oh, why would I even want to smell this <laughs> and, die, and, and, and analyze it? This is horrible. What have I done? I'm going to go back to Hyrax, hopefully. I mean, you know it's a strange world when I'm, I'm going back to Hyrax to, for some relief. But Hyrax, I would actually say, anyways, at least the way it's opening up, it, it just has this sort of rough animalic vibe with what I get is kind of a leathery, almost rubbery kind of vibe as well. A little bit dirty, but not, not super dirty. This is actually, especially compared to the Etat Libra Orange, it's actually not bad. It doesn't... Um, particularly do anything for me in either direction i would just sort of have this as a okay um it's not bad it doesn't smell horrible this one is potentially even wearable it has that sort of animal fur rough kind of vibe with a little bit of a leathery accord that i can pick up i can't really pick up much else and honestly i feel queasy I feel a little bit dizzy here from this uh secretions magnifique it is as bad as everybody said. <laughs> I did not think it would be that bad. I'm gonna do this one one last time. I'm gonna smell them both at once. This will be my pseudo layer. Let's hope I can survive. <sighs> you know what? That's actually way better than just Secretions Magnifique. I think whatever's in the zoologist is um, takes off the edge, it tones it down enough that it's actually kind of almost wearable. Anyways, that was interesting. I'm gonna go wash my hands now, make sure this is gone for good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, leave a comment down below. What is the most disgusting fragrance you have ever smelt? And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.